What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech and more reviews. And this time, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite app widget combos for my Apple iPad Pro. So let's check it out. So in order to actually get this moving widget that a lot of people had a question about, this is actually related to the Google application. So you have to first off download this Google application. And basically it's as simple as this. Coming in here, typing in Google, hitting search, and it pops up. So this is the one that you need to download. Just the plain old Google app. That's it. That's what you need in order to get this widget. Next, all you're going to do is scroll down to the bottom once you do have it. And what you're going to do is scroll down to the bottom of that. You hit customize and then you will bring your Google search as well as your trending on Google up to the top. Once you have these up here and see if you want to remove them, you can remove them. They go right back down here. Now let's go back out to the front and they are now gone. So we do want to add these back because this is the main focus of this video. Edit, customize. So come back down here and you hit trending on Google as well as Google search. Move these up and up. Hit done. Brings you back to your home screen. Hit done once more. So once you scroll up, you're going to get this little trendy widget right here that's going to basically keep you up to date with what's going on in Google. And let's say you actually have an interesting topic that pops up in one of these little windows. You hit it. It actually takes you to that item, takes you to that subject matter. And then when you get done, you just come back out and boom. There you go. So very easy, very simple to download, very uh, easy to use, and it's informative as well. It's gonna allow you to keep up to date just right here on this main screen. Now, another one that I never talk about really is going to be this one down here. You do have a Google search bar that can be over here with your widgets, as well as incognito mode, and as well as a microphone. Now, your actual key phrase uh, does not work with this, and this is because this may be because I'm running the beta software. Not 100% sure, but it doesn't work with this set up right here not right now um, there may be a way to do that in the future so stay tuned for those videos that will be coming up so another cool feature about this actual widget over here is it has a little drop down section so if you click on that arrow it drops down to show you more at a time and then if you hit see more trends you just tap on that it opens up the google application for you and it allows you to get more subjects that are actually trending uh, in the world right now so very useful app. I had a lot of questions about it. So I really wanted to bring this to you guys just to show you what I'm using, what I like, and actually what you need to do in order to get this on your iPad home screen. Like I said, I am running the 14 beta, but if you do have 13, you can still take advantage of this whole setup over here with the widgets. Just keep that in mind. Most of us do have 13 right about now, but 14 gives you these extra widgets right here, which we'll talk about just a little bit more when the actual software is available to the public and I get the real version. Right now, it's still a little buggy, so just keep that in mind. So there we go. The actual Google application will allow you to be able to download or access that widget. And then once you get that, you'll get the same effect as I have on my screen here. So it's no big secret. It's something that any of us can do with iOS 13. And right now I'm actually running the 14 uh, beta. So I'm waiting on the real thing to come out and see what else is in store for us. But for right now, that's pretty much it. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, continue to give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.